fellow followers and welcome to Fancine and today I have for you a mini VHS haul. Uh, recently I went to a thrift store, I got a couple VHSs, nothing too exuberant, nothing too fancy, but I love VHSs and I love sharing them with you guys in my audience. So let's go over what I got, shall we? I want my, I want my, I want my VHS. Up first we have a movie by Steven Spielberg from the 90s starring Richard Dreyfuss, John Goodman, Holly Hunter. It's called Always. Uh, this is I don't think this was one of uh, Steven Spielberg's most well-known movies. It's not a bad movie at all. It's kind of, it's kind of uh, a romantic type uh ghost story type, you know, like ghost. Uh, Richard Dreyfuss plays the legendary pilot who dies in a crash and he comes back sort of like a ghost, like an angel to help guide his uh, lover, Holly Hunter, and to move on past him. And, you know, John Goodman was his best friend and, you know, it's just got that Steven Spielberg flair to it and everything. And, you know, here's the front of it and here's the back of it. And then the tape is in really great condition. So, you know, this is pretty cool. I saw it. I had to get it. I haven't seen it in a very long time. I don't remember a whole lot of it. So I, I was kind of excited just to find it. And, you know, I like Steven Spielberg movies. So uh, this is a good one to have. No respect, I tell you. No respect. Rodney Dangerfield in Easy Money, one of his more critically acclaimed movies. And this movie is a good movie. I was so glad to finally uh, find this and put it in my collection. It stars Rodney Dangerfield, Joe Pesci, a bunch of other people. It's essentially uh, <laughs> his mother-in-law dies in this movie and she leaves him an inheritance. But the only way he can get that inheritance is if he stops gambling, smoking, he loses weight, and gets his life together and act together. And of course, it's Rodney Dangerfield. So you know, you know how that respect and all that flows in this. But this is a really good movie. And yeah, there's the front of it there's the back of it and it's a good tape uh, uh there is a, somebody's name there who used to own it i don't want to you know put that person's name out here just in case but yes uh this was a pretty cool find to have and uh i'm glad i got it Believe it or not, this next movie was the first American movie to film in Russia's Red Square. It's a buddy cop action flick from the 80s with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jim Belushi. This is one of those just great 80s action flicks. It's one of those quintessential ones. Red Heat, you know, uh, James Belushi is a Chicago police uh, uh, officer who doesn't follow the rules. And Arnold Schwarzenegger is the sort of uptight Russian Ivan Denko, uh, you know, uh, captain. And he, there's like, they're solving this mystery together. He comes to America, the Chicago. It's just a great, a great action in the 80s flick all around. Buddy comedy. It's just got that good vibe to it. And, uh, you know, this is a really cool tape. I love the IVE, you know, old school IVE, man. That's pretty cool. And I, I just was happy to find this. And, you know, these were all such a great find, even though they're not too, like, fancy. And it's maybe they're more well known and everything but for like 50 cents a piece i mean you can't beat some of these tapes especially in the condition they're in this next one i love because i love don knotts he was hysterical i'm sorry i he just was the ghost and mr chicken this is an all-time classic this is a great watch uh you know especially if you're like a horror fan or a comedy fan in general all together uh <laughs> it was just it's just so funny so good i just think about it a lot uh you know Don Knotts here, most well known for Barney Five. Uh, he he plays Luther. He he gets like sort of tricked into going to this house that they all believe is haunted, and he believes it's haunted. And there's actually a mystery surrounding it, and it's really just hilarious and funny. And out of boy Luther, that's this in this is you got to see this movie. It's hilarious. It's great. And uh, it was just you know they have this comedy classic. It's so good. It's so funny. And Don Knotts, like I said, you can't be Don Knotts. It's a universal classic here. It's such great tape. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then you, it's actually pretty good because it does get a little like, you know, once the, the mystery starts unfolding of why the house could be haunted or what the what the whole thing is, it, it, it kind of gets a little serious and stuff. So it's, you know, a lot of these, sorry for the glare, a lot of these movies like this, a lot of people don't realize that they do a lot of stuff in this that uh, maybe they didn't think about or that were not considered to be done in films when they really were, you know, they really were. So this is a really good one to have and like I said Don Knotts is hilarious and I love this movie The Ghost of Mr. Chicken if you've not seen this I recommend this film this next one is a straight up 90s MTV generation film starring Charlie Sheen and Christy Swanson in the chase pretty much the whole movie takes place inside Charlie Sheen's car in this movie uh, he's a ex-con he just gets out of prison he kind of uh 
holds up the store with a Butterfinger, takes Kirsty Swanson, who's this rich woman, uh, you know, for hostage, and the whole movie is just them in a car being chased by uh, police officers. You know, it's got really great performances by uh, Charlie Sheen and Kirsty Swanson. She was always super hot. Uh, uh, talk about a 90s teenage crush right there. It's so good. Anthony Kiedis and Flea uh, for the Red Hot Chili Peppers make a guest appearance in this. And also, uh, man, I can't think of his name. My, my, I can't believe my mind. Henry Rollins. Henry Rollins plays a police officer, uh, you know, chasing them down in a car. This, this is just a great uh fun just like turn your brain off type movie i love this movie you know it's just it's just one of the uh, weird movies that just you know you kind of latch on to and you don't understand why you like it but you just do you just do <laughs> and it, you know came out around the same time as like speed and everything and this actually came from a hollywood video video store that i got from but this is a really good movie if you've not seen this i would i would say check this out because it's actually uh, a little bit underrated in, in my mind in my mind because i liked it Austin 316 just said, I whipped your ass. <laughs> Austin 316, uncensored, an old WWF VHS tape. I like finding these old VHS WWF tapes when they were actually the WWF. Uh, they're just so fun. They're, un you know, they the, the Attitude Era was probably one of the greatest next to the 80s. And uh, it's really hard to actually find, like, old wrestling tapes, specifically the ones from the 80s. I would love to find some of those, like those old pay-per-views. Those are really cool. But this is really cool. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin was one of my all-time favorite wrestlers. I, you know, he was, like, one of the biggest wrestler, if not the biggest next taco in the world. And it's pretty cool to have this like old, like throwback to, to that time when he was so popular and when wrestling took a turn in a new generation, when it got a little more raunchier, a little more, uh, you know, shall we say, um, naughty, I guess at some points, but it was really good. And I, I really like this. And I mean, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hell yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin. The boy's mother is his best friend. Alfred Hitchcock is psycho oh i love this movie this movie is such a classic it recently just came out on 4k with the the uncut version of the film that had not been seen in over uh since it was released in the 60s but this is a vhs copy i do not believe that this is not one of the originals this is one of the alfred hitchcock collection vhs that they came up with uh like the much like the universal films uh alfred hitchcock uh tends to be released like the universe monster films i mean and uh, this is just so great norman bates uh the, the you know uh, Jimmy Lee Curtis's mom in in this uh, man Janet Leigh. Uh, this was such a good movie. It's, it's so unexpected, and so many movies like Halloween and the Scream films just take so much from this and was so much inspired by this. This created the, the sort of the created the slasher genre of horror films, and this is just like a, a masterpiece of a film. I mean, Anthony Perkins is Norman Bates. I mean, you just can't beat that. This was such a great film. And I was really, I'm really excited to have this on VHS. And, and even though it's not the original, I mean, I do have the new uh, release that they just came out with. It was, I believe it was last year. So I saw, I had that. So, but I'm really glad to have the VHS. I just, you know, I saw this and I was like, I gotta have that. It's Alfred Hitchcock, classic. Finally, this next one we will be getting in a 4K version. Well, at least streaming version as now. I'm sure we'll get a disc of it down the line. But it is Star Trek, the motion picture, uh, the longer extended version, basically the director's cut of the film. I was so excited to find this because, uh, you know, a lot of people don't like Star Trek, the motion picture, but I actually like Star Trek, the motion picture. I think it's a pretty damn good film. And it's the most like uh, the original series in my mind. But, I mean, you can't be Rathcon. Con, Rathcon was the best film. But this film, I just, uh, you know, I just really liked it. There was something about Star Trek the first movie and and you know like i said we're getting a 4k uh version of this coming to paramount plus i do believe streaming sometime maybe next year i'm not really sure but you know they're working on it now and uh, i just saw the tape the vhs of it and i had to get it had to get it because it's so great i mean this is my star trek the original series is my star trek captain kirk spock uhura um Sulu, Chekhov, uh, you know, Scotty, Scotty, absolutely love Scotty. Uh, th this was my crew, and it was so cool to see them back in uh, movie form for the first time. Uh, you know, I wasn't alive when the first movie came out, but I saw it, you know, years later when I was able to watch it. And surprisingly enough, Star Trek was the first, like, uh, sci-fi franchise after Superman that I got into before even Star Wars. So I really liked this, and I really uh, had to get this special longer version of it. It's just, it's just something about this film. It's just... You know, it's one of those ones that don't get a lot of respect, but it's actually really better than you anticipate. And it was pretty cool to have the extended cut, especially knowing that we're getting a 4K version of it uh, here very, very soon. So it's interesting to pop this in, watch this, and then later on watch the 4K and compare it. So that's pretty cool. I, I had to get it. And I mean, I love the, the iconic poster art there. It's really cool. So you cannot beat that for 50 cents. I'm telling you, you just can't. 
So that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know what you guys thought about all these finds down in the comment section down below. Do you guys still collect VHSs? What are some of the favorite VHSs I've showed you that you guys have liked? Let me know all this in the comment section down below because I do like reading your comments and one of the best ways to get my channel out there and to build what I want to grow here because I really, really want to build this channel up and just be a community for physical media lovers, sci-fi, 80s horror, 80s and 90s cult classic film lovers out there and just where we can have a good time And because, you know, modern entertainment is not, not the best and uh you know going retro uh you know it's kind of fun so let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below and uh some of your favorite vhs's like i mentioned and please share this video out for everybody to see and if you liked what you saw subscribe and hit that bell for notifications i would truly truly appreciate that i thank you guys for watching wherever you guys are please have a great safe happy healthy day morning afternoon evening and night godspeed